Danielle Ford is a marketing consultant. Uh, she does a lot of YouTube videos. You can watch some of her old videos and see she's a single mom and that's kind of what she hangs her hat on is, is videos about being a single mom or young mom. And she was recently elected to the school board here in uh, Clark County in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, she's a very attractive lady and she made a racism. Uh, she used a word for black people that uh, isn't used anymore. And I don't even want to concentrate on that. Uh, what I want to concentrate on is what she was promoting when she said that word. She was promoting weighing crimes against people that are non-white, uh, bullying, I suppose, and, and, and other incidents, heavier and giving them a priority over crimes against, I guess, white students. It appears to me as if she's trying to compensate for something in her past. I'll, I'll point out when she makes me think that. This conversation that we're having right now becoming generalized uh, around safety. And it's two different conversations. We need to have uh, a separate protocol when it is race-based. Um, and there's two different problems that we're experiencing right now. One is our lack of safety protocols, and the other one is the safety of colored students in general. It seems kind of telling that she didn't even flinch when she said that, uh, almost like she uses that word in day-to-day -day conversation or in her head, but uh, didn't even seem to phase her that she had just said that. These are two different conversations. Um, there's a a clear uh, problem with our culture. Uh, it's, it's the culture of the country. Like what the fuck did I just do? What did I do? I want to take it back. Yes. Kiss it. Huh? Apologize. I am so sorry for saying that. Um, kiss it. You want me to kiss your... That's right. Apologize. I am so sorry for saying that. Black student... Oh, I'm, you're right. No, you're absolutely right. And I... I know. <laughs> I do. And I, I know that I have a lot of implicit bias. And I... And working on that for myself as well. Implicit bias exists when we unconsciously hold attitudes towards others or associate stereotypes with them. For example, we often harbor negative stereotypes about others without consciously realizing that we do so. Implicit bias which is also called unconscious bias or implicit social cognition, is a prejudice that is deep-seated within the brain, below the conscious level. Studies have demonstrated implicit bias against racial groups, genders, LGBTQ, and other marginalized groups. What I meant to say was students of color, black students. Apologize. I, I completely apologize. Whenever I hear a white person use the word colored to describe black people, I'm going to assume you don't have many black friends. The reality is a lot of people still to this day are confused by what word is acceptable, what word is politically correct to use, which is a, a horrifying phrase. I think the polite thing to do is to use the word that people themselves are comfortable being used, and that is definitely not colored. Okay, I'm, I'm... Okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay, I apologize, but I do want to say that I am working on my own implicit bias, so I, re I totally respect those. Okay, okay. Um, we're, not, we're not gonna allow um, audience members to yell. Sure, okay. well, I, I'm just gonna, I think I still have about a minute left. Ma'am, please don't make me have um, someone escort you out. You don't okay? have to, because I'm leaving, because stuff like that is what's gonna get our children hurt in the school district. 
I, I, I'm so sorry. I completely am going to take that into consideration and I really greatly apologize for that. Um, I do know that I was part of Clark County School District and I have seen a lot of racism and I have learned over the course of my life things that I've done wrong in the past, things that I've supported in the past that I disagree with now and I'm doing the best that I can. It almost sounds like she's trying to confess to being a bystander to racism or actually a participant um, in her past during her Clark County School District days when she was a student. And I think that there's a lot of people who are in our district who are very much like me and don't necessarily know what we're doing wrong. So anything like that where I can be educated, I do, I do now. I, I just got a little bit confused in my mind with all the words on my paper. I really am sorry. Um, and whether you like me or not, I'm going to keep on learning as much as I can and pushing for um, everybody to be safe and specifically black students. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to push for everyone to be safe, specifically black students. She's definitely compensating for something. And she mentioned that she knows other people in the district that also don't know the right words to use for black people. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably true, but she is definitely in her life trying to make up for some wrong that she did where she thinks that not all students' safety is, should be a priority, but black students and then everyone else. It's, that's racism. It's discrimination. She is a racist. Um, because I do, I do know that there's a huge problem there. My point was that I don't want to navigate this conversation back and generalize it around safety in general. And if something is race-based, that is, in my opinion, terrorism. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Racism is not terrorism. Are we prioritizing race-based bullying over sexual offenses in the district? We have some teachers that don't keep their hands to themselves. Shouldn't that be weighed in equally or maybe even more than bullying? There's always going to be students who dislike each other. There's always going to be threats and violence against other students because um, of personal conflicts. But when a certain demographic is targeted because of their skin color, that needs to have a separate procedure in my opinion. So. I really do apologize for the way that I worded my statement, but I do stand um, behind what I said, that we really need to focus on the culture and not just um, safety in general, but let's look at the, the students who are being targeted more and make sure that they get higher precedence. So when we talk about those colors, color codings, um, you know, wh what is what is important to act on now, what can be delayed. I think that when it is a race crime, a threat or a crime, it needs to go to the top of the list. So again, I do apologize for what I said and that it was wrong. And I appreciate, um, I'm, I'm a work in progress, so I, I appreciate being called out and I'm going to make sure to not say that ever again and be very mindful of how I word things. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Ford. So in summary, I don't think Danielle Ford suffers from implicit or unconscious bias. I think she has a conscious bias. I think she's a racist. She considers black people weak and thinks that they somehow need to have crimes against them that are race-based prioritized over other people. Rather than considering them equals, she thinks that they need to be coddled. And she is definitely compensating for something she's done in her past. Rosie kiss. That's kind of like a good kiss. Mwah. She's a good girl. Mwah. So that's all. Um, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of Rosie. She is my new little baby. She is a baby. She is just a little baby and I am crazy obsessed with her. <laughs> um, that's all for now. If you like this video, please like it and share it. And if you're not yet part of the club, then head over to youngmomsclub.com, enter your name and email,
and I will immediately send you the seven steps to being a young mom, and you'll get more updates of my widow Rosie bug. My widow Rosie bug. Oh, you better stop it. Oh, you better stop her. That's all for now. See you next time. Bye.